Oh, we're the Brett family from Strathmore, Alberta. This is our first year of seeing international students. We started in September and we're just loving it. Well, a friends of ours had done Osteen in the previous year and we thought it would be a wonderful experience to try out and being empty nesters, bringing some boys back into the house is awesome. For me, I've, been, I've really been enjoying having the boys with us. It's, it's given me a, a whole new meaning of, of life again, like the purpose of being on a schedule and doing things for other people that I was missing from raising three boys of my own and now they're all out on, on their own. And uh, I know I've got my husband here to, to keep me busy, but uh, having the boys around is just awesome. Well, it's not so much raising a bunch of new kids, it's learning so much from them. And having the experience of seeing things over again, things that we take for granted, and then we see their reaction to things that we just take for granted or it's, it's an everyday thing, but they've never experienced it before. So seeing the expressions on their faces kind of brings a, an old, a whole new light to us. And like a four of us, me and Sebastian, pretty sure like an alien way, there's, there's wonderful people. Like they're a really good homestay family. Like when you have someone just receiving you and like, uh, taking your place, all the stuff, talking you feel about it. I'm sure you're gonna love them anyway. But like, it has been such a wonderful experience to talk to them. As as they said before, uh, in the same way that that we fuzz, you're having like new views of stuff. Uh, for us, when you talk about them, when you talk to him, to them, and like just discuss about stuff, they're like, well, for us, like they're Canadian and all that stuff, so they have a totally different world view. So talking to them and just discovering new ideas is, is really, really good. It's also like really cool to see how they react to things that we found in our countries. Yeah. Like especially the other day that I got some Mexican salsa yeah. here. <laughs> so I gave them all to try and the expression of these three guys here while they were trying it was so priceless. So <laughs> yeah, totally. These are like the best homestay ever and yeah, you're gonna love them. Yeah, that food was like Burning, burning. <laughs> it wasn't, it was. But we'll do it again. It wasn't. <laughs> we've also given them some of our culture too, because we're Newfoundlanders, so we've yeah. cooked some Newfoundland meals for them. Oh, yeah. I think they've enjoyed it too. Yeah, yeah I, I, I like, I've also learned like a lot of words, like they're English words. <laughs> but like, since they're from Newfoundland, they are like kind of informal stuff, like expression. So it sparks, we say like flankers. Of the word boy, they say like we finish so bye. Yes, so like bye. bye. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, those stuff like I bring it back home. They're gonna, they're gonna help me a lot of stuff. Yeah, like, we're yes, we're really. not just learning English. We're also learning new here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. Really cool. I don't think I've learned anything that we weren't expecting. I, I was like, well, I was afraid that we would end up with students who it would be hard to communicate, but these guys, their English is so good that we haven't had any issues with <laughs> that. But that was a big thing. And yeah, was, and that they're enjoying my food. Yeah, yeah, totally. So. <laughs> Her food is really, really good. And Wayne's food is also really good. Wayne's, huh? Wayne's <laughs> cooking is when really Wayne's really good. cook is always a blast. It's always a blast. <laughs> I'd take them out to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have just fitted in so well with yeah. our family. Like, we have three boys of our own. We've gone to visit them in their homes, and these guys come along, and the grandkids just adore them. Like, they'll just take to the boys, and they're just so excited. And if we go to visit, and Tiago and Sebastian don't come with yeah. us some evenings, where's Sebastian? Where's Tiago? <laughs> or where's Bastion? And where's Ago? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, they've adapted very well, very, very well. Yeah. We've had a bunch of birthday parties between the two boys. They each had a birthday in October and November, yeah, so, yeah. and we had parties here and had the family over, and we've gone out to the family for birthday parties, and yeah, we've had quite a few get-togethers. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we took them to West Edmonton Mall. Yeah, Ooh, it was a pretty big trip. And... Sure down through Kananaskis, through the mountains, yeah, for a yeah. good view. It was really wonderful. Those sight scenes were like one of the most beautiful things I had ever seen before. D even down to the little bowl, yeah, uh, little or bowl down to the, the bowl river, 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 rather. I was, able, I was able to like throw rocks for the first time and see them bounce <laughs> on the set, it was pretty good. They also made us try a lot of food I would never try in Mexico, yeah. like 
with it and moose, deer, jig, gab, goose, a lot of stuff that I would never think I would try in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> so when I went to the Acreage and like just said like, even though it was just a week, it was so much fun to experience like a little bit of farm, farm smell, farming and all that stuff. Like I was able like to really chill out and relax there, it was a pretty good experience. I think one of you said something, but it was so quiet at night. Yeah, it was, it was so quiet. Day. Yeah, because well, I'm from Mexico City, so, so you can imagine like being in a farm <laughs> makes it so quiet and so relaxful. And yeah, I totally love it. I love going on the quads on the farm. Yeah, it was so really cool. Good. Take out really cool. ride Yeah, it was so quiet and so peaceful. It was so good, but still, I think I love being in Stratford more than on the farm. <laughs> well, I think it's definitely a, a positive thing to do. Um, We've learned so much from these boys, not only from, like I said before, but the reactions to different things and seeing things through their eyes. They tell us so much about their countries and other places that they have visited. And they show us the pictures and explain how things work in their countries and, and the traditions and whatnot. And, and we've got to FaceTime with their families yeah. and, and so it's just been wonderful.